Hey, it's my birthday! I turned 61 tomorrow! How cool is that? Listen, there was a time, a time that I would have told you that 61 years old was really old. But something changed in my life in 1993. I was in Hawaii to do a race called the Ironman Triathlon. I had been training with this guy by the name of Mr. Albright for a couple weeks. On game day, last event of the day is the marathon. I was at mile 24. I had a 13 mile head start over my friend, Mr. Albright. And then I heard the encouraging words come from just behind me. Keep going, Doug, you're looking strong. It was my friend, Mr. Albright. He had made up the 13 miles distance. I wasn't sure if I should thank him or trip him. He went on and he passed me. Well, in the one step that it took him to pass me, it became a defining moment in my life. Here's the reason why. In 1993, I was in the best shape of my life. I was 38 years old. My friend, Bill Albright, was 69 years old. I want you to think about that for a second. 69 years old, 2.4 mile ocean swim, 112 mile bike, and 26.2 mile run. I thought, how is it possible that someone that was that old could do what he just did? And then I realized it was because he wasn't old. And I asked him the next day, how was it possible that you were able to do that, Mr. Albright? And he said, Doug, it wasn't always possible. I remember when I was your age, I used to go home at the end of the day, I'd turn the television set on, I'd sit on my couch, read the newspaper, and I could feel my life slipping away. I made the decision, he said. I didn't mind aging, but I refused to get old. And I said, well, what's the difference? He said, Doug, the key to life is to maintain an active interest in it. He said, most people, at best, maintain a passive interest in their life. The key to life, he said, is to maintain an active interest in your physical, your spiritual, and your emotional well-being, and you'll age, but you'll never get old. The only thing that will change is what you see in the mirror. That was 1993, folks. His words really stuck with me. In fact, if it wasn't for meeting Mr. Albright in the lava fields of Hawaii Ironman, I assure you that there's no way that I would have attempted a solo swim across the English Channel in August at the age of six. The reason why I wanted to share this with you today I spoke to a friend yesterday on the phone. She told me she's 47 years old. She was afraid of leaving her job, afraid that she might not be hired simply because she's 47 years old. And I had to laugh. I said to her, listen, don't go buying into that nonsense. Don't ever buy into that nonsense. What people are buying from you is not your age. They're buying your passion. They're buying your work ethic. They're buying who you are as a person. That's what they're buying. And if you're going to mope around like you're 60 years old, then people are going to say, I'm not going to hire me 60 years old. If you walk around at 47 years old and you mope around like you're an old person, guess what? That's the energy that you're going to spread to the world. So I want you to take the age nonsense and throw it out. The most important thing is you deliver the value, you deliver the passion, you deliver the gifts that you truly have to share, and it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter. I know some of you are wrestling with the exact opposite. You're thinking, I may be too young to be doing this. Nobody's going to take me serious because I'm too young. Again, throw it out. It's all about the value, the passion that you bring to the world. That's what people are buying. Throw this age nonsense out. Don't you begin to buy into it because it's absolute rubbish. I know you can do it. If you like my Jeep Mode videos, do me a favor, subscribe to my YouTube channel or sign up for my newsletter at gettingtogold.com forward slash contacts.